In 2008, the government of Antigua and Barbuda launched a new platform, which was called the Public Safety Communications Network, PSCN. PSCN was established to facilitate reliable and secure communications across the country for the Royal Police Force, the Fire Service, Defense Force, the Coast Guard, the Emergency Medical Services, EMS, the National Office of Disaster Services, NODS, and the Office of National Drug and Money Laundering Control Policy, ONDCP. On this platform, a new emergency 911 center was created. Which has taken over the receipt of emergency calls from the police. And so we are now operating it as a civilian operation and we are responding to all calls. In conjunction with PSCN, the Ministry of Telecommunications, Science and Technology implemented a new radio system for each branch of the PSCN network. An effective communication system for the network enables the officers to receive timely information and respond to an emergency promptly. It's really to provide the network, which includes high sites with transmission towers and equipment and radios installed in the vehicles of these agencies I mentioned, and also their handheld radios that are used by members of these organizations. While PSCN provides an important service for the country, the network faces a challenge when persons abuse the emergency response number. Well, ever since we started four years ago, we have had a problem with nuisance calls. Some of these calls are people who have their phones in their pockets, in their bags or something, and they will if you press the key, it will dial 911. But the majority of the problems come from deliberately dialed prank calls, mostly by kids, but every now and then you get an adult who is really playing the fool. How exactly is an emergency call processed? Um, quickly, we have a standard where we answer 90% um, of our calls within 10 seconds. And then we try to get the responding agency to respond in as quick a time as possible. That though comes upon the um, problem of where do you find the incident. We don't have, in a lot of cases, street names. We also don't have building numbers. The people will describe their location in terms of known landmarks. And if you don't know the landmark, then they spend time trying to explain what it is and stuff like that. So. Um, I would think that if we can get past that hurdle, we'll be well on the way to providing the kind of service that we can provide. When you make a call to the emergency center, it is important to provide clear information to the operator. While a caller may wonder about the relevance of questions asked, it is important for the responder to know for their benefit as well as for the person in need of assistance. It's very important. Um, there is a tendency among the public to think that you're asking too many questions. But we need the answers for their benefit as well as the benefit of the responders. For instance, we would need to know of any potential dangers in the area that the responders are going to go into. We would need to know, in the case of a medical emergency, the medical history of the person. The Public Safety Communications Network, PSCN, is an essential social service for persons residing in Antigua and Barbuda. The network continues to grow from stage to stage in its efforts to provide the best emergency assistance possible. The Telecommunications Division of the Ministry of Telecommunications, Science and Technology is responsible for the operation and maintenance of the PSCN network.